In this segment, looking at how a prison-run outreach program is helping American veterans regain their independence through vet dogs. Today, WCTV visits the South Middlesex Correctional Center located in Framingham, Mass, where inmates build unique partnerships and the dogs are groomed to become useful servants. The Americans Vet Dogs program was created as an expansion of an outreach program, the Guide Dog Foundation for the Blind. I want to get to know a little bit about the organization, okay. right? The Americans Vet Dogs. Americans Vet Dogs. Mm -hmm. We're based in uh, New York, on Long Island in Smithtown, New York. And we've been an agency, a nonprofit agency, since 2003. Mm -hmm. And we train, uh, we raise and train uh, primarily Labradors uh, to be placed with veterans who are physically disabled. Okay. Uh, we also train dogs for PTSD. We train herring dogs. Um, and we obviously, we train guide dogs as well. Okay. Now where do you get your dogs from? We, we have our own breeding program. Okay. So we, um, and the dogs we use in the prison programs are primarily labs or lab golden crosses. Okay, now tell us a little bit more about the dogs that um, are involved in this program. How do you select them? What makes a good dog for this program? What makes a good dog for the service dog side is, um, is a dog that's really in tune to people. Um, you know, they like people. Um, the service dogs take direction from people, so that's really important. They tend to be a little bit more laid back than the guide dog mm -hmm. um, side. And so what happens is when the puppies are eight weeks old, they're temperament tested. Okay. And, and then they're selected for either the guide dog side or the service dog side, and the service dogs all go to prison programs. Anybody else have any paperwork for me? Every Thursday at noon, a few inmates meet in this room for a group coaching session. With them, they bring their four-legged students. The course typically runs for two hours. Today, Hannah, who has been with American's Vet Dogs program since November of last year, is helping to perfect a few lessons. Okay, so we're going to start with checking in on head in. So let's grab our vests and go ahead and put those on the dogs, please. The significance of putting on a vest is to signal a dog that they are now at work. In the free world, the vest serves as a warning to the public that they should respect that the dog is working. Ready? Free. Come on. Orion. Ready? Free. Okay, that? take it away for a second. I also would ask for a sit and then a down and then have him start over again. Oh, we want the, the animal over there. Yes. <laughs> Orion. So yeah, turn him around so he's facing this way. Come here. There we go. And now ask for we're gonna ask for some simple behaviors. Good yes. Job. Good job, Good buddy. Good job. Bring. Hold. Good job. So, yep, there you go. So what I loved about that was as soon as it was going south, you did a give yep. and we moved on. Yep. Yep. So how does he, how is he normally with he's this? He's been doing great, okay. but he's so distracted He's right really now. distracted. Yes. Yep. You got this. Great. Yeah. Yep. Oh. Here. Usually this is how he gets it. He'll take it as long as I need to give. Rest. Good. Nice. Good boy. <laughs> Excellent. The rest is actually one of our PTSD commands. Okay. And what that is is um, people with PTSD have a lot of anxieties, um, especially when they're in public. So they can call the dog over and tell the dog to rest. And the dog actually um, rests their head on their lap and puts pressure on, the, on their leg. And, and the dog's supposed to stay there so the person can pet them in. I mean, just the act of petting the dog calms them. Mm -hmm. Push. Yes. Good. Good job. All right. See, I'm not sleeping all the time. Push. The push command is for assistance such as turning on the lights and even helping with pushing door buttons. There are currently six dogs involved in the training. Most of these dogs come from across the street, Massachusetts Correctional Institution. Inmates involved in the program had to go through an interview selection process. Shataba has been an instructor for five years now. She is currently working with Cash, who at most is an obedient student. 
Elena, who just joined the program earlier this year, used to be a backup before she became a primary. They, I feel like they help us more than we help them. Okay. They get us through the day. And, um, I don't want to cry. But no, I mean, just every morning waking up and seeing that face look at you, it's amazing. And then to know that a dog that you had has passed and is placed with a veteran and is going home mm. to help them. It's amazing, a great feeling. Netherless to say, letting go isn't always easy. The dogs undergo a few months of training at the institution before they are taken away for info training and return to Long Island where trainers work with them for a few more months before they appeared with a veteran. The dogs leave and room together with the instructors at the South Middlesex Correctional Center. For five days a week, they're their instructors' companions except for the weekends where volunteers take the dogs home with them so the dogs can get a taste of the outside life. And what they do is they socialize the dogs out in the community to traffic and children and um, restaurants. And they come on Fridays, mm -hmm. typically, and um, take the dogs for the weekend and bring them back on Sunday. But I was thinking, so is their lives like a life of a purpose, full-time purpose, or do they get to have fun sometimes? And, you know, how does their lives look like? <laughs> They have a great purpose, but is this just what do that? Do, uh, outside we do. We have a pen in the back okay. um, that we allow them to go, um, you know, in there, and there, you know, we may throw a ball to them and play fetch. But again, they're still, they're, they don't know it, but we're still training them. Okay. <laughs> they think they're having fun, but we're at, and asking them to bring us the ball back. That's something that they're learning. Oh, all right. So, but they are, they have a ball out there. We have a pool, last week it was so hot, we set up a, a pool for them and put it inside the pen and they had a ball last week. And this goes for any behavior, right? Where sometimes it's kind of slow and other times it's faster. I feel like he knows the behaviors. Mm -hmm. He knows bring and hold and give. He knows them really solidly and when you're not worried about them knowing exactly what the behavior is, I would mark and reinforce the ones where he's fast yeah, to go it's and it's, it's zippy and those you're going to say yes and then do give and you can even work just on the bring because bring is no sit. Perfect. That was great. Um, so I would just mark and reinforce those ones that are fast. The program is looking for volunteers for their weekend puppy raising. The new program has opened at Massachusetts Correctional Institution in Shirley. For more information on Americans Vet Dogs or how you can be of service, please feel free to visit their website at www.vetdogs.org.